oddly triggered by me mentioning that two-parent households would be the solution to the high crime rates in the African-American community. Could it be that you are unable to separate your personal emotions surrounding that statement and the facts? You're still on this. They know how good we can make things look when we clip them out of context. So I'm going to play the full thing, and I want you to count how many times he switches topics. More white people voting is a bad thing. Is that what you think is going to happen? More white people are going to be able to vote? Whoa, that is, that is interesting framing, but I'm saying when you disproportionately have white people voting, like by a legal by a legal reason like the same thing that happened when we had poll taxes and everything yeah that's a bad that's a big problem white people tend to vote republican and minorities tend not to why is that uh because minorities are very much uninformed oh <laughs> okay are you I saying hope... that they're informed huh so tell me tell i me don't make broad you know loaded i don't make broad loaded statements about about okay how like many that. black people do you know that voted for joe biden Oh my lord have mercy. What does this have to do with anything? Okay, so before I even get into the debate tactics that conservative pundits and figures often use, you know, in these types of debates that we see online and in different types of events, I want to, you know, just really get to the point that, you know, you had a black Republican saying that the reason the majority of minorities vote Democrat is because most minorities are just very uninformed. Joe Biden authored the 1994 crime bill. No black person in their right mind should ever vote for him for anything. And you know what the Republican Party was doing? Trying to make that crime bill tougher. So if you're suggesting that this solution was to vote for the Republican in that instance, you're wrong. Okay, so then it's always so funny to me because it's like, okay, so the one other party, it's not like it's like the Democrats are keeping minorities captive and then we have a choice of like seven other parties to choose from that have any type of viability within Congress. No, no, no. We have two choices. We got the Democrats who are center right and we got the Republicans who are far right and completely out of their minds, as we all know. So again, you know, to, to point that out, it's like they're, they're so uninformed. They got to come on over here to the Republican side where climate change isn't real and a minimum wage shouldn't exist. And, you know, wanting to even the scales makes you lazy. You know, those types of thought processes. And of course, I, I guarantee that that guy, you know, it's, it's all of those people. But me, I'm good. You know, all of that, you know, any black stuff, any minority stuff the Republicans are spitting, it's about them, but not me. The entire U.S. Congress and most of America at the time was very tough on crime, everything. And the Republicans were not trying to be the, hey, guys, maybe we shouldn't do this. Nope, Republicans are trying to push it further. So the solution was not either in that case. So you think being lax on crime, crime is, the, is the answer? Uh, that's another argument that I have not made that you just shoved into my mouth. But all in all, you know, one of the reasons I personally am not that big of a fan of debates is because it's just a show and there's tactics to it. It's making sure the other person doesn't get to speak, especially when they start to make a good point, switching the topic whenever they're starting to make a good point, asking questions, deflecting, you know, speaking really fast, you know, just really, really keeping the show on you. That way it just appears that you're dominant. And, and, and that it just taps into our, the primal side of human nature. You know, the person who looks the most dominant, the person who looks to be the most in control of the room. I, that's why I really am not that big of a fan of debates. I, I like panel discussions. I prefer real discussions. Debates are good for me if it's between two politicians and you're debating policy and stuff like that. That's where it makes sense. But like pundits debating each other, to me, it's just a big show. I, I, I personally don't really care for it. But you said being but tough on crime yes, is a bad thing. That's literally what the era up. was called. It's literally been called the tough on crime 90s. And by tough on crime, I mean what they did was get, what, 60-something more penalties that could result in the uh, or crimes that could result in the death penalty, expansion of private prisons, expansion of all these things that aren't actually doing anything to adjust the reason why crimes are being committed, but just being punitive and punishment. As not like that's not the solution to actually like solving the institutional problems that lead to crime. To grow up and uh, stop encouraging and allowing people to believe that p two parents aren't necessary in the household okay, and that a family right, is not an important all right, all right, Joel, for development. All right, Joel. I let you run with with a, with a lot of with a lot of shotgun points here, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. And you know, again, the biggest issue to me about just at least American conservatism is it's so simple minded because you know, again, crime in America is a huge, complicated issue. Many things stemming from people's economic situations, the history of the environment. And then again, like they'll bring out like two parent household. Now, does that play a big part in a child's development? Absolutely. There's no question about that. Having two parents in the household, good parents in the household, that's that's 
really important. Two good parents in the household absolutely makes a big difference. But that by itself isn't going to stop someone from going out here and committing crimes if they can't make ends meet because there aren't any good jobs in their communities or because they're surrounded by gangs. You know, you can be in a two parent household and still be at the bottom of the rung of the economic ladder. You know, as it becomes harder and harder to climb up the tax bracket, you know, plenty of people are in two parent households. So that's an argument that doesn't hold enough weight because at the end of the day, these people aren't concerned about truly solving the issue, which is the economic status in the environment where these crimes are being committed. But, you know, again, they don't care about that. They just care about looking dominant.